Fair day. I'm Astania, watch captain. With the Queen in town, we have extra security precautions to see to. Where are you travelling from? Old Raz sent you, eh? That could complicate things. Thank you for telling me. The Queen's enemies are all around her. Her protectors must be vigilant at all times, and this information will be critical in their calculations. I'll make sure news of the Marma is passed on to the appropriate parties. Don't you worry about that. Now what's your name? I'll need it for the official register. I'll just write that down. By order of the first Oridon Marines, your presence in Valkelgard has been registered. Do your best to stay out of trouble and out of the way. Fare you well. Help? No, I don't think so. Actually, my guardsmen are all tied up right now. If you're up to it, perhaps you could look into some things for me. Good. I want you to speak with two members of the Queen's Court, Advisor Norian and Steward Aminwe. They await assistance from the Guard, hands I can't spare just now. Who do you want to speak to first? I see you prioritize well. You'll find him at a warehouse west of here. Be sure to tell him that I sent you. Once you've finished with both of them, report back to me on the town's upper level. Well, what are you waiting for? You hit your head recently. The Queen leads the Old Mary Dominion. She had some kind of wild time away from court a few years back, but now she's returned to reclaim her birthright, lead the Alliance. Off gallivanting across Tamriel? Who knows? Who cares? I wish I could just quit my job and come back to it when I get bored. <sighs> Probably talking up the unity of the Dominion. Not all of us are fans of being united with our feral little cousins and furry friends. Queen Irene's personal guard. They're led by Battle Reeve Urselmo, one of the most decorated warriors in the Dominion. No. I'm captain of the city guards here. The marines are the right arm of the queen. My duty is to the city. Ha! Huh. He's got an active imagination, that one. We know each other, sure. Drew blades together a few times. But I'm not sure I'd call him a friend. Not since he signed up with the queen. He didn't tell you? Of course he didn't. He's the biggest liar I know. Razumdar works directly for the queen herself. Some kind of hush-hush cloak-and-dagger outfit. Thieves and liars, the lot of them. I'm busy here. Away with you. <laughs> uh, in that case, you'll do nicely. My servant followed a burglar to this warehouse. The ignorant knave stole a set of marine deployment plans for the Queen's upcoming speech. Well, I'm sure I wouldn't know. I'm no burglar. In any case, we can't let those plans escape. They could be used to bypass the Queen's security, and we wouldn't want that. Please, I did just as you asked. Yes, yes you did. know how long I've been looking for you. Well, did you find the plans? Oh, a pity. Keep the plans. You can give them to the captain next time you see her. In the meantime, I must attend to the queen. <sighs> some kind of criminal feud, I'm sure. Now then, if you have some other task, you should be about it. Do I look like a steward's assistant? Do you take me for a commoner? No. But yes, I happen to know where she is. East Warehouse, just north of the docks. You can go now. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't help you right now. I'm very busy and there's a lot to do. Oh, all right then. What was it? Right, the supplies. Two of my cooks took deathly ill right in the middle of preparing the Queen's feast. I suspect sabotage. I want to be sure all of our food supplies are safe.
I'm not upset. Not at all. I'll examine the supplies in here. You go to the warehouse next door, make sure everything is fresh, and there's nothing out of place. Hold it right there. Did you find anything? Thank the stars! You found the problem! Hold on to that. The captain will want to see it. A, a uniform? Hmm. Must have been a cut purse. They're always hanging around the docks waiting to steal away with some cargo. Be careful around here. Tell me what you found. Good, good. Look, I hate to rush you, but I have another task for you. One of my men, Heldil, has cornered a thug nearby. We need to talk to this lowborn scum. We've no time for this. He's involved in a plot against the Queen, that's all I can say. We need someone like you to get to him. He refuses to speak with a member of the Guard. Just hold it for the moment. Heldil is just up the stairs here, house on the right. Get going. Remember, the Queen's service. Kindly step back. We have a situation here. Ah, help from the captain. Excellent. Inside, we've cornered a dangerous mur. He's wanted by the Crown, has valuable information, and threatens to kill himself every time we approach the door. I need him alive. Just get in there and get him talking. Don't listen to what he says. He's half crazed. You get him talking, we move in behind you. Got it? Get back! One step closer, and I'll cut my throat! Why should I trust you? Fine. Fine. Just don't try anything. Get in here. You're no guard. Thank the stars. Quickly, we don't have much time. They're coming. I know you're just a distraction. Listen closely. Captain Estania is corrupt. She's a member of a group called the Veiled Heritance. Veiled Heritance. They're planning an assassination attempt on the Queen at the Temple. They bribed members of her staff to get the speech moved here, where they can have the Captain in their pocket. No. Only what I've seen and heard Please, you must warn the Queen. She's in grave danger, and the guards here. Oh no. Good work, citizen. Traitors. Scum. Shut your mouth. You're under arrest. I live only to serve the Queen. Sure you do. Baritale? With pleasure. <laughs> Good work. Don't worry. He'll receive a fair trial. The captain is always very even-handed in her pronouncements. Good call. We'll see that this man is taken to a cell. With respect, of course. I have to admit I'm impressed. Cool like the scales of Auriel you are. Good luck with the captain. She sent word. She's moved to protect the queen. That'll be at the manor house. Stars guide your steps now. Ah, my errand runner. So good to see you again. Stop right there. On my authority as captain, you're under arrest. Under suspicion of conspiracy to regicide. What's that in your pack? Deployment plans for the marines at the temple. And do I smell the taint of poison on the air? These are the tools of an assassin. It's no use arguing, scum. Not another word out of you. Raz must admit, 
Even he did not think we'd be seeing each other again so soon. How are you, my friend? He's here to help us, always. You may have noticed your new friend Fazian lies dead on the ground behind you. Raz knew Fazian well, as he thought he did Astania. The captain happened. Fazion and Raz worked together as agents of the Queen. Fazion was not willing to give up secrets, and so now Fazion is dead. You will soon be free. But as on the island, Raz must ask your aid. You must warn the Queen and her battle reeve. The captain will attempt to murder the Queen at the temple. You must get past the captain's men. Seek out another of our lady's agents, Esheba. She stands watching the marketplace, peddling her wares. Ask her for a souvenir of the first marines, and she will set you on your path. Now, out of here. Save the queen. This one imagines you have some questions. What can Raz tell you? You have this one's apologies. He was looking for Fazian. It is a happy accident for us both that you could be saved. You escaped the cell, and Razumdar's new plan to warn the Queen moves forward. It is somewhat embarrassing, but this one's face is known to some of the royal court. If Razumdar were to approach, they would know something is amiss. You, a new face in a Marine's uniform, they would suspect nothing. Is there anything else this one can convey? Yes, as did Fazian. He told you true. We are the eyes of the Queen. We are few, and we stick to the shadows. But we have the honor of being the Queen's most trusted agents. The Battle Reeve is fiercely loyal. He believes his marines are immune to manipulation, like newly forged steel blades. But Razum Dar knows better than most how quickly stains can set in. Do you go around admitting your dark secrets to strangers? Raz knows you know how to keep a secret. This one's service to the Queen is an honor and a privilege but not something he brags about in island bars. They don't think we need the Dominion to survive. They think the Queen is making a mistake elevating the Bosmer and Khajiit to be equals with the High Elves. Racists, isolationists, and general idiots. Esheba has just about anything you could want. So, what can she get you? Is that so? Don't be shy. What do you need? Ah, yes. Esheba has that. The perfect thing to suit your needs. But are you certain? This souvenir comes with certain expectations. A wise purchase, then. Very beneficial. Please take it from the chest here. Just behind me. If you see our mutual friend again, be sure to give him this one's best. Explain yourself. What are you doing here? Razumdar. Yes, I know the name. You haven't answered my question, though. Hmm. We've taken every precaution. The whole area is locked down. Watch Captain Estonia assured me. The guard, Captain? Absurd! A moment, Aselmo. I would hear what this one has to say. Queen Irene, I fear for your safety. Please disregard what was said, Ravendar just... Ravendar was mentioned. He acts on my behalf. If you won't investigate, I will. Apologies, my Queen. As you will. You are a capable woman, but you must be wary. You, come with me. We'll investigate the temple together. 
Believe me, I meant what I said. I'd happily go in there myself. But in this dress? And the nobles here would probably lose their minds. Please, friend. I'd see it as a personal favor if you would investigate with the Battle Reeve. happened here? You... I'm sorry. I was wrong. I tried to stop them. Watch out. On the balcony. It's a Stanya. It's a, a trap! Urselmo. Uh, I see you've met my latest a toy. Stanya? Traitor. Come down here and face me. Our queen has betrayed us. I wanted her head. I'll settle for yours. Kill them. to Stanya. It's not over yet, Battle Reeve. The Veiled Heritance will see to that. The Dominion will last long after your corpse cools. Now come down here and face your death! did my protectors find? Astania, I can't believe it. No doubt Aselmo will triple his watch. She truly was an agent of the Veiled Heritance. Betrayal. She turns against her people after years of service, and she spoke of my betrayal? She obviously could not be trusted, but you have proven your worth. The Marines are blunt instruments. A queen must have a lighter touch. You've met Razumdar first in the eyes of the queen. Would you join him? Become an elite agent for the good of the Dominion? Excellent. By what power I hold, I name you an agent in my employ. You are now an eye of the queen, bonded to my service. Oriel keep you safe, and Xarxis guard your words. Now to look to larger things. I must cement my position, and continue my tour of the Isle. I must make for the ancient site known as Tanzelwil. Normally, a new monarch communes quietly with the dead. 
We're supposed to show willingness to heed the wisdom of our ancestors. As you saw today, my reign so far has been anything but normal. I worry there will be complications, and the presence of my newest eye would assuage that worry. Make your way to Tanzelwil at your own pace. Seek out my entourage when you arrive. They'll be able to direct you to me. And good luck to us both on the road. As you wish. I'm not sure I know much more than you at this point. I wish I could say yes. Astania got closer than anyone else has. Subverting a watch captain. I can't believe they'd be so bold. An end to the Dominion. They want me to step down, to appoint their own regent, for everyone not of high elven descent to leave the Somerset Isles. The list goes on and on. They're racists. High elven supremacists with no understanding of the real world. Short-sighted misanthropes with delusions of grandeur. Bastard throwbacks that should crawl back beneath their rock. Oh, thank Oriel. Someone who's not too blinded by my crown to ask a real question. Apologies. Of course I'd be happy to chat. What would you like to know? My father, King Hidalith of Eleanor, passed on to Aetherius. He was a good man. As is my brother, Naaman. I returned to take my father's place because my lifetime of experience has prepared me, honed me, to be the ruler we need. Have you heard some of the rumors? My exploits have been greatly exaggerated, I can assure you. Except the story about the bear. That one's true. To be blunt, the Altmer are too few. Together with the Wood Elves and Khajiit, we have the iron will, the strength of arms, and the depth of character to solve the problems facing Tamriel. I do. I spent years traveling the face of Nan. The alliance we've forged is the strongest in the world. I spent months working with the Main and the Tree Things to create this dominion of ours. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> no. Raz and I met while I was traveling many years ago. We met in Wayrest. Or was it Whiterun? Something with a W. The story's a long one and involves a drunken schoolmarm and a purple velvet dress. <clears throat> You look familiar. Have we met before? Ah, Vulkalgard, of course. Welcome to Tanzelville. Perhaps you will get through to Her Majesty where we could not. Queen's favorite. I'm glad you're here. We came to Tanzelville to honor the spirits of our ancestors, and now they seem bloody well determined to kill us all. An excellent question, for which I have no answer. My dear sister, your queen, brought us here to perform a ceremonial ritual. It's a bit of political theatre, really. Gain the blessings of the dead and all that rubbish. If danger doesn't find her, she'll seek it out and invite it home to dinner. She's in the ruins just ahead, conspiring with the battle reeve. They're determined to complete the ceremony. Do be a loyal subject and see that she survives, won't you? I swear, it's like being home for a new life festival. The family's been drinking since noon, and everyone wants you dead. Oh, you know how it is. In the waters off the island, there are great sea beasts. Smaller creatures cling to their sides, eating the scraps they leave behind. It's just the same with nobility on land. Tradition. Whenever a new monarch takes the throne, there are endless rituals and ceremonies. I myself was more than halfway through the 88 days of liturgical chanting required to take the throne. Then my dear sister returned. Oh yes, when our father, King Hiddelith, May he reign in glory, passed away. She was slated to begin the ceremonies. But then she left, just poof, gone, before she even entered the Sapiarch's labyrinth. 
just so. And so it fell to me to spend the requisite 3,555 days studying Alt Mary custom and ceremoniarchy. Oh, but I digress. We call upon our honored ancestors to pass on their memory and wisdom. Your ancestors disavow you, false one. The Veiled Queen is the rightful heir, and Norian My shall queen. end your Look reign. Out. Well, that could have gone better. Maybe it's all that royal we nonsense. We call upon our ancestors. It's all rather condescending, isn't it? Don't remind me. This ceremony is supposed to show Oridon that I honor our people's culture and heritage. It's supposed to show that our ancestors see me as the rightful heir. I guess our ancestors have ideas of their own. I don't know. It mentioned Norian, my advisor. You met him in Volkilgard, I believe. My friend, something has gone wrong here. I hate to ask your aid again, but I must. There are two priestesses elsewhere in the ruins, women I trust. If Norian has turned against me, I fear for their lives. Stand with them as they perform their parts of the ceremony. Keep them safe. These ceremonies are important to my people, which makes them important to me, I guess. Continue the rituals, of course. The priestesses are waiting on me. No unquiet dead will keep me from finishing what I began here. It's as I said, the ceremonies are for the people. They've always been a part of crowning a new Old Mary Monarch. The people are already nervous about my extended absence. They need to know they can trust me. I've no idea who the Veiled Queen might be. Perhaps the leader of that Veiled Heritance group? And in my estimation, Norian would sell his own mother if he thought he'd get a good price at the market. Norian was a staunch supporter of my father, and after him, Naaman's bid for rule. He was very vocal in his disappointment when I returned and took the crown. For Norion, it's all a power game, and I wasn't playing his way. Truly? I had hoped Astania led some kind of small splinter group, or gave a grandiose name to a group of thugs. If they can strike at a whole town, get to me here, through Norian. Stars, they're a real threat. Did you see her? She tried to kill me. Colonway is an ancestral spirit that haunts this grove. She's always been a mischievous one, but I've never seen her so violent. She's lying in wait ready to pounce as soon as I lower my defenses. I can't complete the Queen's ceremony unless you banish her from this plane. Be careful. She'll tear your throat out if you give her half the chance. You did it! Now I must perform the ritual. May the spirit of our ancestors bless us and guide us. May we honor their memories with our actions and our thoughts. The ancients bless you for your prayers. May the ancients guide you through your days. May we be honored by your humble prayers and offerings. The ritual is complete. You may go. My friend returns. Are the rituals completed? Are the priestesses safe? That's a relief. Thank you. Now comes the tricky bit. The final ritual must take place inside the ancestral tombs, where, I would imagine, the most powerful dead dwell. If I am to be queen, I must look fear in the face and conquer it. How can I ask my people to have faith in me if I don't have faith in myself? I was a warrior before I became queen. I can handle myself. But you're determined, and I know you're foolhardy enough. 
I would welcome your company. I can handle myself. I was a warrior long before I became a queen. Your Majesty, let me come with you. I should warn you, three coins say Norian is down in the crypts. Well, no. But to control these spirits so completely, he'd have to be close. The crypt is a winding complex with plenty of places for quiet spell casting. I'm prepared for anything. If he's sided with this veiled queen, he's a traitor. That means we end him, here and now. Are you with me? You are no queen, Tyler. You are a spoiled child. Give up this charade of the veiled queen. the ancestors guiding me. The ancestors have forsaken you. The things I endure for my people. Foolish girl! Our people will never name you that queen. Destroy that crystal over there. I'll take out the crystal by the door. Time to destroy this crystal and move on. Onward we go. The Veiled Queen will lead us. I'm glad you're down here, my friend. Are we still together on this? Why struggle, I reckon? This can only end one way. I don't want to stay down here any longer than we have to. Beyond this door lies the ancestral chamber at the very heart of Tenzelwil. If I complete the ritual and receive the ancestor's blessing, the people will finally accept me as King Tamlian's heir.
then this ritual was ended. May the ancestors bless us with their wisdom and protection. The ancestors honor your prayers. May the light of the eight bless you and guide you. Let your reign be long and peaceful. It's finished. Let's get out of this dark place. Follow me. You risked everything to help me. I won't forget it. You're too modest. Thank you, my brave and noble friend. Until we meet again, wherever the road may take us. Go carefully on the road, my friend. You're a valuable resource to the Dominion. And me, of course. Of course, my friend. Our little adventure here has brought up a few questions of my own. Worried about them turning like Norian? Hmm, I don't believe so. Norian was old guard and never very fond of me. Most of the others awaiting us on the road honestly want change. Outright traitors like Norian we end, no question. The problem is that traitors like Norian are only fanning the flame. If I can't win over my people, the heretics will be dealing with me instead of the other way round. We have dozens of stops along the road, speaking at farms and holdfasts. My next big event is in Skywatch, I believe. They're throwing a festival and I'm to make a public appearance with my sister-in-law, Estri. Always thrilling. There's no love lost there, no. My brother took the news of my return fairly well, all things considered. I'm not sure his wife has it in her to be as forgiving. She wanted to be queen. One day, over a drink, you must tell me what happened down there. For now, the queen's safety is my primary concern. Razum Dar has been investigating threads in the Veiled Heritance plot. We think he's caught a break in Matisson, and he could use some help. Head up there and lend him a hand, will you? Ah, my friend. This one was just thinking about you. Nothing personal, of course. Ra's threat assesses all of his assets. Yes, yes. We are here to gather some intelligence, right some wrongs, and perhaps slit some throats. We'll see how the day goes. You'll be perfect for this. You'll see. Ra's has an eye for this sort of thing. Her Majesty set this one a task. Investigate the leadership of the Veiled Heritons. The Veil's trail leads here, to the town of Matissen. Well known for their steel blades, yes, but also, apparently, weaponsmiths for anarchists. You contact Agent Fistel on the east side of town. This one pads around her house, then we meet to discuss her report. Too bad Raz is so handsome, yes? He would get noticed. The heritons are racist, yes? Idiots. But dangerous, destabilizing racist idiots. We must act. Roz may have oversimplified. These Altmer, the ones who wear the veil, they do not see themselves as racists. They see themselves as members of a far superior race. The rest of us just need some help. Oridan for the Altmer. Cats like this one, out. Shorty elves, out. Nothing but tall folk, fair skin and pointy ears as far as the eye can see. Boring, yes? Her Majesty trusts you, and you were of great help in Vulkelgard. Why would this one not trust a new, fresh face? Raz would never watch you with careful eyes, ready for the first sign of betrayal. Never. And how is Fistale, my friend? Raz loves her laugh. What did she learn? Dead. Dark moon and dull claws. Damn these fanatics! Let Raz see that. Even in death she laughs at this one. Clever girl. It is a code, telling us who she suspected. She mentions a rat with a blade. 
Condalen is the forge master here. Controls the smithy on the far end of town. Go, see what you can find, and be careful. Meet Razumdar around the other side of the forge when you are done. What did you find? Interesting. Raz knows Matisson's cannon reeve, Melani, would not have suspected her. If she's donned the veil, she's probably running the show here. Explain something, too. Guard now stands before the door. Seems an odd place for a guard, yes? Want you to investigate. This one has another lead to run down. We're close, my friend. We will act soon. Trust Razumdar. Just thought better of her. This one knows she and the Queen used to correspond regularly. To think she's fallen in with the inheritance. Shows even good people can do stupid things. Our friend here was too noisy. Had to have some fun with him. What did the Cannon Reeves' home yield? It's true then. Meloni leads the inheritance here. This town is corrupt down to the roots. Damn it. The Queen will not be pleased. When the roots are fouled, there's only one thing left to do. Rip them out of the ground. The time to stay in the shadows is past. Now we step into the light. All right now. You trust in Razumdar, yes? He must ask you to trust him further. Meloni, Kandalin, they are in the town barracks. You must go in, make a big noise. They will almost certainly capture you. Kandalin's too observant. He knows we are here. If you go strolling in like the pompous hero, allow yourself to be taken, they'll let their guard down. Then old Raz finds you, frees you, and we strike. Razumdar trusts you. Do the same for him, and he will not let you down. You have perhaps something better to do? Look, we are the Queen's eyes. We do the tasks that must be done, even if it means getting hit on the head. Killing those who do not deserve it. Riding a guar naked through an Argonian temple. Raz only shares that story with veteran field agents. Perhaps another day. Just keep moving, friend. <laughs> you don't say. All right, hero. Go on in. We're a bit busy here, Traveler. If you could just... Treason? You'd accuse me of treason? Here? Are you mad? You little idiot. I ran that traitorous cow. She's the one who should be brought up on treason charges. She's betrayed the Ultima, her own people. The Veiled Queen will soon be crowned, and you can't stop us. You'll report nothing. Odendil, Kandalin, now! Kandalin, take our friend here. Odendil, rally the troops. Time to drop the veil and show our true strength. You're awake now, sleeping kitten? Just as we'd hoped. You did very well for new blood. What? This one would never know that this is the second time he is saving you. From jail, in less than a month. Not out loud, anyway. What do you think Raz did while you searched the town? He watched, observed, calculated. Raz has very good eyes, you see. Razumdar unlocks the door. You go find Kandalin. This one finds Malani. Just be careful. Near Fistale's house. Bastard. Meet up with Raz near the forge when you are done. He'll know where Melani is then. You cannot stop the people and their true queen.
Canon Reeve is inside, near the forge, she is trapped. Aye. Come, my friend. For Fistale. For the Queen. Let's take her out quickly. Be done with this place. You are under arrest, Canon Reeve. For treason against the, the Queen. The only Queen I serve is the Veiled Queen. This is fine, Trader. We could use the exercise. Azumdar wants to say that went pretty well. Then he remembers Fistale and her parents. You're right. On behalf of the Queen, we give you thanks. One day you will be a great and mighty agent. Almost as great as Razumdar, if that's possible. Raz needs to report our success here. Her Majesty will be pleased. I will return to Skywatch and see what can be learned there. Speak to Captain Tendil when you arrive. He will know where to find me. Welcome to Skywatch. Your message arrived ahead of you, and they're expecting you up at the manse. Yes, I know you must have been concerned about the messenger. He made it through safely. It's great to meet you at the gate again, just like the last time. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Our mutual Khajiit friend said he was happy to meet you. The festival, the High Kin Lady's veneration ceremony. It's all very exciting. Exactly, up at the manse. He's eager to discuss all the things you'll do on your visit to Skywatch. Should be a lot of fun. Enjoy your time in the city. Good luck. If you need us, the Marines have your back. <laughs> Ours, yes. The Festival of Defiance. An annual celebration of freedom and victory. Skywatch retaken from the Slode in the wake of the Thrasian Gambit. You know how the Khajiit are like myrrh, but cats? Imagine that only with slug-toed things. They're a Betmer race, beast myrrh, and their empire once ruled the seas of southern Tamriel. Queen Irene has come to our town as part of her tour. While she's here, the rumor is that she's going to bestow a great honor upon Estri. Estri's already the Cannon Reeve of Skywatch. Be interesting to see what's next. I can assure you, if the Veiled Heritance is in Skywatch, they will be found. I believe you, Estri. But the Royal Guard will aid in the search. This is non-negotiable. Very well. If you will excuse me, Your Majesty, I have much to do. Over here. Looking for Razumdar? Follow the... Me. Just follow. Perhaps now you recognize Razumdar, yes? Skywatch is a dangerous town. Today of all days. You know of the festival, Estri's ceremony, yes? 
To cement their relationship, the Queen plans to elevate Estri within the Thalmor. Everything must be perfect. The Heritans. Raz has word the Veil has fallen on Skywatch. They plan to attack the royalty, make a statement. We need someone to find the cell and snuff it out. And by someone, Raz means you. It is a pleasure working beside you, my friend. Start at the Barbed Hook Tavern down by the docks. Use the phrase, the wine here is made with Alekir grapes. Raz is certain that will get you somewhere. Take the earring Raz used to disguise himself. We don't want anyone to recognize you. I bid you welcome to Skywatch. I'm glad you're here. I'm happy for the chance to honor Lady Estri. She's my brother's wife, after all. But it all goes in the font if the Heritants try something. No, not I. We can't be seen discussing such matters. Razumdar is very close by. Oriel's scales protect you. Ah, a patriot! Let me get a look at you. You look about right. Stars, yes, you might be just the right type. We'll need to test you first. If you've been around Skywatch at all today, you've seen the Royal Guard, right? They're in the way, and the threat they represent to our cause. Return with a blade, and we'll move on to the next step. Fair day, citizen. Get out of here. Another word and I'll have to bring you to a magistrate. Hmm. Oh, I remember seeing you around. Here, just take care of it. I'm impressed. As I expected, you're not just recruit material. You could be an officer. Let's drink a toast to your health. Drink up! It's about time. You're heavier than you look. Welcome to the Veiled Isle. You're just off the coast of Skywatch. Our own private training ground. You've been chosen to join. A cut above. An officer of the Veiled Heritants. You can see the Black Soul Gem here. Place your hand on it. Good. You can come and go all you want. But first, you take the oath. Be sure you want this. You commit your immortal soul with this pledge. Repeat after me. I pledge my life and soul to the Heritance and the Veiled Queen. You've passed the first test of your initiation. Congratulations! You're a lucky recruit. The Veiled Queen herself will be making a speech in support of the cause. You'll be able to see her firsthand, assuming you survive the trials. Before you lies three trials. Endurance, intelligence, and strength. A heritance officer must embody all three of these virtues, or they're no officer. I recruited you. Don't fail me. Intelligence. Ammonir proctors the test, just up the path from here. Go. You've come to test your mind. Learn if you have what it takes. The test is simple. I will give you a riddle. You choose from the items on these tables. One of them is the correct answer. Choose wrong, face the consequences. Two bodies have I. Two joined into one. The more I stand still, the faster I run. I flip on my head. Some watch me with dread. What am I? You have chosen wisely. Are you ready for another question? Answer this correctly, and our business is done. Friend to soldiers, guardsmen, and mercs. Scarred from battle, unbowed by hurt. I always faced forward when battle is joined. 
When on the march, I watch from behind. What am I? Well done. You've proven you have a well-honed mind. Now you must prove your heart's endurance. Speak to Varastante, and she will begin your trial. Here for the trial of endurance? This is a race around the island, mind. Not a casual stroll. Think you can handle it? On my mark, magical pillars will appear on a set path. Follow the markers and keep to your feet. Oh, and wear the imps. Little bastards have sharp teeth. Ready? An impressive time. You've passed the Vale's trial of endurance. Alondere proctors your final trial, the trial of strength. Get going. You guessed the old man's riddles and ran a little race. Good for you. Ready for a real challenge? You fight. Every officer under the Vale needs to know how to fight. Behind me is the combat ring. You'll go up against other officer candidates. I don't want to hear moaning. We have a long road to walk before we remove that heretic I ran. The Veiled Queen deserves only the best. So we only take the best. We'll see. Head up the stairs, join the melee. If you survive, you're in. Prepare yourself. Good work. You're tougher than you look. I get to welcome you beneath the veil. Do your damnedest to make the Veiled Queen proud. You're a fool, member now, and you're in luck. The Veiled Queen herself will be speaking to the court. The Veiled Council meets in the Grand Hall. It's north of here, near the top of the island. 
No, she's not here. She needs to stay safe, hidden. Uses a spell to speak with us by projection. Go report in with the Council, present yourself and be known. Search the recruits! One of Iren's agents is in disguise. Damn it! They're here! that little bauble? Or did Iren herself get her hands dirty? Did she really think she could sail home and we'd all bend a knee? As she invites mongrels and beasts to cavort in our cities? Deluded fool! No matter. With Mehrun's Dagon's aid, I will dispose of the False Queen and rise as true leader to our people. I am the Veiled Queen! spy is here! Dispose of that pest. Raz was beginning to worry about you. Calm yourself, friend. She's inside with the Queen. They're practicing for the Thalmor ceremony tomorrow. No need to worry. Truly, you are certain? If you're mistaken, accusing her. Then we end this. Come with Razumdar. Let's go. We must stop this. My queen, this one apologizes. We must speak with you at once. Razumdar, what's going on here? What is the meaning of this? Who let that cat in here? Our friend here will tell the tale. Speak quickly, please. This could be very bad for both of us. I know. That's why Raz asked you to investigate the Heritance. The Veiled... Surely this is a jest. Estri doesn't even know magic. Estri? It's all right, my agent. You've done the Dominion a great service today. With Estri exposed, the Veil falls. We'll investigate her staff, her guards, we'll bring them to ground. You have the thanks of a grateful queen. Estri must pay for this. It's more subtle than that. My campaign will take me through Dawnbreak, but my eyes tell me the Cannon Reeve there, Sinyan, supports the Veiled Heritage. If Estri has fled, she may seek reinforcements there. 
Go to Dawnbreak and speak to Sinian. Be my eyes there and make sure it's safe. I can't have Estre disrupting the campaign, and Aselmo is already pushing through to First Hold for preparations. Razumdar and I have much to discuss. I must get a warning out to Dawnbreak. That vile witch. I never liked her. And Perta. He's the last. All right. We'll find them. Hold. Dawnbreak is in the middle of an evacuation. No one's allowed back in. Daedra. Poor town was devastated by the beasts. We managed to crush the assault, but the place is still a mess. We need to get the villages clear so recovery efforts can begin. Certainly. I appreciate the help. I was going to send a squad for these citizens. Got a list here. Meet me at the manor house in the middle of town when you've mustered them out. Good luck in there, and mind the Bankin. They're like little Daedric rats. Only Auriel knows. Dawn breaks a supply stop between First Hold and Skywatch. No different than any other town in Auridon. Just glad the High Kin Lady wasn't here when they hit. She left an hour or two before we saw the first Daedra. No! Truly? Thrice be damned as she! If she's capable of that kind of treachery, perhaps she had a hand in what's happening here. Please, help them. Estri, if only you had arrived here sooner. It's a lesson I'll never forget. She decimated my town. If you can help, please speak to Landari. Please, help them. I'm the Canon Reeve of Dawnbreak. I run this town. I've made a lot of bad decisions, but siding with the Veiled Heritance and Lady Estri has been the worst by far. I thought the Veiled Heritance was right. We're a small town, set in our ways. So we welcomed Estri and ignored warnings from Skywatch. I never thought she'd use the town as a playground. For her Daedric worship of Mehrunes, Dagon. It's her fault the Daedra are here. I can no longer claim ignorance. I never would have thought she'd fallen in league with a Daedric prince. Xarxas, hold my father's secret and safe. My poor father. Damn the Daedra. I can't. I promised father I'd wait for him. I won't leave without him. He went to check on Pertar. I think we heard his house collapse. Poor man. Please find my father. His name is Almion. Excuse me, please. I must look for her ring. I can't leave without it. No. No, her ring, it's all I have left. All that's left of my father. I've just... I've misplaced it. Oh, thank you. Threefold blessings upon you. It could be anywhere. This old place is so messy. You have it? Thank you, thank you so much. My father is grateful too, I know it. Thank the Eight. Please tell me the Marines have arrived. Truly? Is it safe to go? Three and five times blessed am I. Thank you. And blessings to you as well. No. It can't be true. It can't. He... he was just here. Fine. Fine. I'll go. I saw some of the townsfolk making for the cordon. How did it go? Poor girl. Thank you for what you could do. In the meantime, I've sent out patrols to hunt down any remaining Daedra. They should report back soon. Perhaps, 
There's... Captain Landare! Artania, report. It's the Daedra, Captain. They've returned, in force. We've been overrun. I barely made it back. We... Artie, what happened? The back, Captain. The patrols may not last long. Curse this town. Well, this isn't good. Get up there and look for our patrols. They'll need relief. I need to oversee the defense here. May Oriel preserve us all. My eternal thanks. A Thank the gods. Thank the divines I found you. You need to find Landare. She's in over her head. One of the patrols returned, thanks to you, and mentioned a cave entrance to the northeast. Landare couldn't wait. She took some myrrh, and they left for the caves. She's always been this way. I'm worried she's in over her head. Help her, please. Maybe you can strap her fool head to her shoulders. We failed. Hush, Cole. Just rest. Good. Your hair. This is Koromir, my patrol leader. He isn't having a good day. There are a pair of Dremora further up in the cave. They're preparing another mess summoning as we speak. It's up to you. I can't leave Koromir here like this. Thanks. You were right, by the way. Estri's not just veiled heritance. She's a thrice damned cultist as well. Kor overheard the High Kin Lady talking to these Daedra by magical sending. Good. Meantime, I'm going to get Kor here back to the manor. Meet us there. Do what you can there. First hole already burns beneath my gaze. You'll never stop. Fifth charge. My new friend, you live. I was hoping. As you can see, we received reinforcements. The Dremora have been dispatched. Thrice blessed are we. I couldn't have asked Oselmo for a better marine. What of Estri? Did you learn anything more? I had a feeling things would get worse. We need to get word to Lord Rillis of Firsthold, and fast. We'll just have to see, won't we? In any case, for the lads and lasses here, thank you. I hope we're in time. I was hoping you'd offer. First hold is just a short journey from here. Follow the road to the northwest, and bring the news to one of the marines there, if not Urselmo himself. Hold there! First hold is under siege. We'll need you to head back to the main road. Sadly, yes. The attack is underway. Hold there! First hold is under siege. We'll need you to head back to the main road. You're one of Raz's. Thank Mara. We could use you. There are Daedra everywhere. Portals to oblivion open within the city, and an army of beasts threatens to take first hold. It's hard for me to believe. But reports indicate High Kin Lady Estri is behind this. We hold the line here, but that could change at any moment. Battle Reeve or Selmo sent a runner requesting aid. He has a plan to deal with these beasts, apparently. He's at the Mage's Guild Hall. Should be straight ahead across the bridge. Trinamax blade keep you safe. The High Kin Lord didn't know of her treachery. He led her into the city, and that was it. We lost touch with Rillis after the gates to the Deadlands opened. I hope he's still alive. 
Maroon's Dagon's plain of oblivion. It's a wasteland. Nothing but stone, lava, and Daedra. When the gates first opened, I had a good look. And smell. Mara's heart, that place has an odor. He's here. He piled in right behind the battle reeve. Said something about supporting the marines and the guilds. You know how he is. Estri dropped a barrier around the inner castle. We'll need a way past it to get at the portals. I think the Battle Reeve and the Guild Leader plan to crack that thing like an egg. A frontal approach. Stars above. You have no idea how relieved I am to see you. I hope you're resolved. We've got a hard road ahead of us. Estri has sealed the castle within a powerful barrier. It's powered by wards and guarded by Dramora. Destroy the wards, and we drop the barrier. One of the guild mages, Sinian, has a plan. We retook the hall here to gain access to a source of magical power. Head inside. She'll tell you what to do. Trinimac, guide your hand. And may he protect us all. We'll be fine. We've held them off this long. We can hold a bit longer. You just focus on what Sinian has to tell you. First hold must not fall. We've unsheathed our sharpest blades. Curious about these folk? Sinian spell slingers. Mages from the Guild Hall. Normally they'd be curled up with a good book or brewing some obscure potion. They've done the Guild proud backing us up. Razumdar's folk. Eyes of the Queen. I know you've worked with him before. Normally, they'd never expose themselves like this. The cat said, we do not draw blades in the daylight. But here they are, making sure we live through this. My personal elite guard. We call them Talons. The Queen has her eyes, I have my Talons. Between the Talons and the Marines, the finest blades in Oridan are arrayed against oblivion. Welcome to First Hold. It's just so lovely this time of year. Ah, well, don't suppose you have about a hundred blades behind, you know? All right then, time we saw more of town. Two wards power the barrier around the castle. Here in the hall, we focus our will, shape the tip of a spear. Alone, we'd be no match for a Daedric prince. Together, Estri's magics don't stand a chance. You're a smart one. We'll need to stay here to power the ritual. You act as our focus, our agent in the world. Take this talisman, find the wards. One's in the east wing of the city, the other in the west. Just point, focus, and we'll do the rest. Just remember, it will take a moment or two for the ritual to do its work. I'd clear out the Daedra first, assuming you don't want to be eaten. Oh, and say hello to Razi for me. Definitely. Didn't Urselmo tell you? He's been trying to find weak points in the barrier for us. When that thing goes down, he's sure to move up. I'd look for him in the inner courtyard, after your victory. Success! Just one more ward to go. Down. Find Razumdar. He'll get you moving. My friend, it is good to see you again. Your talisman. Razumdar sees you have met Sinian. Cheerful, isn't she? We storm the castle and the realm beyond. This one imagines Estri is very upset. She threw in her lot with Dagon, and now... Now nothing stands in our way. Estri is vulnerable, but Tamriel is still open to the Deadlands. This must not be. We must close her gates, end the threat of the Daedra. Each gate is maintained by a sigil stone. Enter the portal, find the stone and destroy it. Raz is going to guess they will be guarded. 
Just so, my friend. Good luck in there. Raz will rejoin Urselmo and the others. Ensure First Hold is still here when you get back. The gates are closed, and Tamriel is just a little bit safer. What do you say we put an end to Estri? He and Sinian are already inside. We have one more portal to close. The High Kin Lady Estri clutches to Dagon's robes, hides within the Deadlands. It would be Razumdar's pleasure to fight by your side. Follow. He shall lead the way. This one shall open the door. Good. You're both here. We're going after Estri. Let's end this. What do we have here? A lamb sent to... You dare challenge the power of Melun's Dagon? Estri, you've gone too far. Release found. Razumdar couldn't have asked for more. Even this one must admit, you do good work. Without you leading the charge, today could have gone very differently. Queen Irene has arrived. She's just outside with her retinue. This one is certain she'll want to hear your report. Go. We will speak again soon. The Battle Reeve tells me Estri is dead. I mourn her loss. She is the past, and you are future. Your service to our people has been exemplary. You have proven yourself a valuable asset to the Old Mary Dominion. Among those who heed my voice, you will be honored and welcome. Our alliance of three peoples is fragile but beautiful. With you at its heart, I'm certain the Covenant and the Pact will learn to fear the Eagle's cry. High Kin Lady Estri may be defeated, but there are still those who would oppose the Dominion. The Veiled Heritance is proof of that. High Kin Lord Rillis and I still have our work cut out for us here. The King of the Wood Elves informs me there's some manner of discontent in Elden Root, our capital city. Meet with King Kamor and Eridan and work to end the discord. Once local matters are in hand, I'll meet you in Elden Root. Travel to Skywatch and look for Captain Jimela. I've heard she's a reliable captain with a fast ship. She can bring you to the Port of Haven, which is just south of Elden Root. And if she gives you trouble, tell her I sent you. My queen, how may I further the Dominion's goals today? Little brother, you're here. You only call me that when you've done something you regret. Or expect to regret. Naaman, then... What have they told you? When you snatched father's crown for yourself, you never once called me little brother. Did you know that? Please, I must know. I heard you declared my wife a traitor, that you ordered Estri's death. Well, she's gone now, isn't she? 
Little brother, I would have told you myself if I could. No regrets, dear sister. You did what must be done for the glory of the Dominion. How could there be shame in that? Highkin Lady Estri may be defeated, but there are still those who would oppose the Dominion. The Veiled Heritance is proof of that. High Kin Lord Rillis and I still have her work cut out for us here. Stop pawing at me and listen! You have to send someone before it's too late. Thank the stars. This mud crab won't stop pinching me. Listen, you have to get to Seal Salen. Help them before it's too late. It's the Veiled Heritance. The town is in flames. It all happened so fast. Sil Salen is just north of here. Follow the road and find the Canon Reeve's daughter, Ellenwyn. She'll know what to do. The Veiled Heritance is behind this madness, I'm sure of it. Can't you smell the smoke? Sil Salen is under attack. I barely got my father out alive. The Canon Reeve, almost slain. These brutes may wear the uniforms of the first Oridon Marines, but they're imposters. They're agents of the Veiled Heritance, I'm sure of it. Teldur, my father's assistant, is trying to organize a defense. You look capable. Will you help, Silsalen? We'll be waiting in the barn down the road. Good luck in there. There's not much time. What do you need to know? Ellen Wen. I run an inn here in town, but if you don't hurry up, they'll have it burned to the ground. My father and the man standing beside me, silly fool. He's in the town square, just over the bridge. You must hurry. He's hopelessly outnumbered. We were expecting an attachment from the first Oridon Marines to prepare for the Queen's visit. Then this lot arrived and started killing and burning. We were readying for a celebration, not a slaughter. Why would the Queen send men to attack her loyal subjects? It makes no sense. But it would be just the sort of ruse the Veiled Heritance would use to undermine her authority. A group of Altmer isolationists who hate outsiders. They think the Queen has been corrupted by our alliance with the Bosmer and Khajiit and seek to overthrow her. Are you insane? Can't you see the town is under attack? Did she? How do I know you're not one of the imposters? Fine. Grab that bucket from the well and put out the fires. If you find any villagers, tell them they need to evacuate until it's safe. What are you waiting for? Move like you have a purpose. Refuse to answer an outsider's pointless questions, for one. I'll catch up with you at the barn later. Now go. The fires are under control, thanks to you. We'll be a long time in rebuilding, but your bravery won't be forgotten. Hanelan of the First Oridon Marines, at your service. Thrice damned lowlifes are no Marines. I can tell you that much. In fact, Commander Tendil's detachment should have been here a long time ago. I think they were ambushed. One of the villagers you rescued said he saw bound men being herded into the cellar of a house north of the village square. I can't leave my post, but perhaps you could investigate? escape thank the eight quickly untie us captain tendil of the first oridon marines we were sent here at the behest of her royal majesty queen irene we walked into a trap agents of the veiled heritance stripped us of our uniforms and gear and left us here to burn we have a stash at the farm near the edge of town return them to us I'll personally see that every last imposter dies screaming for mercy! Thank you. I'll untie the rest. You get that gear for us. 
Any luck? We'll gear up and patch our wounds. In the meantime, find out who's behind this conspiracy. I'll send one of my best men along with you to help loosen some tongues. Stars guide your steps. Thank the eight I found you. Teldor has betrayed us. Teldor asked Canon Reeve Villano for a word outside. When they didn't return, I went to look for them. I caught a glimpse of them heading towards the manor. Teldor was holding a knife to my father's side. Our home, the Canon Reeve's residence. Teldur's quarters are there as well. Please, you must go there quickly. I fear for my father's life. Teldor must answer for his crimes. Go ahead. Perhaps the Veiled Heritance offered him wealth or power. They may have even offered to make him Canon Reeve of a larger city. Who can say? The front door is heavily guarded, and almost certainly locked. But one of the guards should have a key. I've also heard there's an underground entrance, an old smuggling tunnel that leads to the beach. That might be your best bet. <coughs> the Cannon Reef betrayed us. Betrayed us all. I found proof. Cannon Reef Villano, member of the Veiled Heritance. Didn't want to believe. I confronted him. He tried to escape. Captured him. Brought him here. His men were waiting. No. Too late for me. M must go. Stop Villano before he escapes. Justice is done. I must return to my squad. Farewell. Your valiant rescue of the first Oridon Marines was well-timed. They've driven off the last of the impostors. What news of the traitor, Teldor? Was Canon Reeve Villano injured? My father was a traitor to the Crown? Orchestrated an assault on his own people? Why? Why would you do this, father? They came from nowhere. By boat, maybe. Never been this far inland. Captain Saranya. Now we're pirates. They've taken South Beacon. <clears throat> my captain, my crew, all captured. They took control of the lighthouse. This is bad, with South Beacon as a staging area. They can raid the Somerset Isles at will. I can make it back to Volkilgard. You have to find Captain Saranya. She'll know what to do. She's a prisoner in the Maomar camp, down in the beach. Please, hurry. Well met, stranger. As you may have noticed, I'm not at liberty to stand and greet you properly. They mean to invade Volkilgard. Their plan is to use the lighthouse at South Beacon to communicate with their fleet. We need to stop them. You have more important things to attend to? Don't answer. That was rhetorical. Three of my scouts are being held captive. Free them and have them meet me at Skylight Beach. I'll scout the lighthouse and find a way to gain entry. Didn't expect to see a friendly face. Get me out of here. Never better. Clever woman, our captain. Skylight Beach is our old drinking spot, if you would know that. Naming it as the rendezvous point tells me that your message is genuine. Pleased to meet you, I am sure. These damnable Maomar are not the most charitable of hosts. The captain's wish is my obligation. Maomar scum. They took us by surprise. Did the captain send you? Skylight Beach? Ha! Huh. I know just where it is. Tildur, the lighthouse keeper, was spared. I don't think they considered him a threat. He says the Maomer are using the lighthouse beacon to send messages to their ships. We can't wait for reinforcements. We need to take action, now. The lighthouse is solid stone. But even stone can burn with the right mixture of kindled pitch and fire salts. 
Till Dua can tell you where to find the necessary ingredients. Use this glass vial. One well-placed fire flask should be just the trick. Tildur says the Maormer placed a magical ward on the lighthouse door. I need to figure a way through it. Go, quickly. I'll locate you when I've found a way to get you inside. We haven't much time. You'll need fire salts and kindle pitch to destroy the beacon. Talk to Tildur. He'll know where you can find them. Then do it quickly. We're running out of time. They took us off guard. Came in quietly in rowboats. Snuck right past the Oridon fleet without so much as a buy your leave. We never saw them coming. South Beacons on the west coast. There's little more than a strait between here and the Somerset Isles. Historically, it's been easy to defend. I wish I knew how they made it past our fleet. Most were thieves and highwaymen before they joined up. I offered them a fresh start. Now they're some of the best scouts and assassins in the Dominion. Unfortunately, those skills don't help much in a stand-up fight. You have the necessary ingredients to make Tildura's fire flask? Excellent. I've been watching the Maormer come and go from the lighthouse, and discovered how they get past the ward on the door. The Maormer carry a magical rune that dispels the ward long enough to gain entry. Steal a rune from one of their patrols near the lighthouse. Use it to dispel the ward, and you're in. You need to hurry. They're nearly ready to signal their fleet. Simple until the lighthouse begins to burn. You won't be able to come out the way you went in, and you can't sprout wings and fly away. Take this teleport scroll. It will transport you back to the rendezvous point at Skylight Beach. This invasion is over. Without the ability to signal their ships, the Maomo won't be able to navigate the shallows. They'll turn around, or find themselves swimming back to Piandania. All of Aradon is in your debt. Well done. We'll head to Volker Guard and return with reinforcements. By this time tomorrow, South Beacon will be ours again, and the invaders will be nothing but a bad memory. We couldn't have done this without your help. You won't be forgotten. Careful, don't get too close to the stone. It appears to be emanating dark necromantic energies. I'm not entirely certain, but it does look menacing, doesn't it? These stones appeared overnight, at key locations throughout the ruins. It's no coincidence that the ancestral spirits went mad that very day. I'm certain there's a connection. No, it doesn't, does it? There are dark forces at work here. I have a powerful Altmer holy symbol used for blessings at this site. I thought I might try using it on the stone, but I'm afraid I haven't the nerve. Would you be willing to try it? My gods, it worked! You've destroyed the stone! Keep it for the time being. You may need it. If any more of these stones turn up, I'll find you. In the meantime, I should inform the Queen of our progress. What fascinating artifacts these stones are. I wonder where they came from. Not until the last of the stones has been destroyed. Only one remains as far as I can tell. Something's happened. The spirits appear to be growing docile again. You've done it. The madness has left them, and the ancestral spirits are at peace. I can still sense residual necromantic energy, so be careful. The stones were powerful. We may feel their influence for some time to come. What will I do? What will I do? What am I going to do? They've been taken. The Queen's entourage. They were taken right out of our camp. A madman, a mage, teleported them away. The look in his eye. He cackled something about the veil. It lies just beyond this cave. I've 
tried to summon up the nerve, but I just can't. Will you go after them? I have these teleportation scrolls. You could use them. Get everyone out. I hope you can find them. Irene, the Queen. She'll be so worried. We were in transit. Irene, Her Majesty, I mean. She's taking a tour of the realm, and her closest advisors travel with her. No, she... well, she's a faster traveler than the members of her entourage. Min and Teal has gotten a bit soft since leaving the military. Nulatel isn't very confident on a horse, and Marian won't keep his hands to himself. Makes travel difficult. I'm not sure. His face seemed familiar somehow. Maybe a few years ago, during the signing ceremony? Sorry, I'm terrible with names. Go away! It's all mine! Sir Nesselmo said so! <sighs> Are you using that weapon? I bet I could get a fair price for it. A mage. He teleported us all here, and started casting some spells, and... Oh, that really is a nice pair of boots you're wearing. Could I just see... Oh, they're somewhere back there. I couldn't get Minenteel or Marian to give up their shirts. And I really wanted Nulatel's pants, but he refused. Misers. You sure you don't have anything to trade? Ah, beautiful. Look at this handwriting. Sinesimo has to have An account more rare books around distracted. here somewhere. Come speak with me. Clever. Very clever. Poor woman. Even taken beyond these walls, no accountant is ever freed from her greed. I am Sir Nesselmo. Welcome to my laboratory. Oh, I'm testing them. Much like I did to Lanatale. Each now resides in a small world of their own making. I'm fascinated by emotion. The power it holds. I'm afraid to say, but they're not doing very well. Oh, what a splendid idea. External stimulus in the mix. Here are open portals to their little worlds. Succeed or fail, this should be simply fascinating. Minantil was a great general once, stripped of her command. Do all soldiers dream of death? Get away from me! Don't touch me! I'll kill you, you hear me? I'll kill you! Thank you. Thank you so much. I can think again. Didn't recognize the face, but the armor. That was my old armor from my campaigning days. I had no idea. All this rage, this hatred must have been bubbling within me for years. The sooner I'm clear of this place, the better I'll feel. Speak with you soon, soldier.
A very disgraced general overcomes her anger? How very uplifting. The picture of true love, those two. Isn't she beautiful? Where has she been all my life? We'll be together forever. No, she's the love of my life. Nothing you can say will change that. I just wish this cave wasn't so dangerous. The poor thing gets scared around these strange mushrooms. Yes, I'm an alchemist. Before I met this fine lady, I was worried about magical manipulation for some reason. Hmm. Anyway, I was going to collect spores, create a potion to guard against a... Did I mention we're to be married? Oh, the recipe's in my pack, I'm sure. I don't know where my pack's gotten to. Why would you need... Yes, my sweet? What was that you said? Marian finally finds love as a slave. for me, you know. He loves alchemy. Everyone mixes well with him. If Marian dies here, he dies happy. You'd deny him that? is mine. Marian's passions control him. Delicious. Don't ruin such an innocent love. No! What's Marion is 
mine! All mine! What happened to me? What was that thing? Marry it? That's ridiculous. I'm already married. And I'm always careful. I never bring up marriage with another woman. That's just asking for trouble. Ah, oh, very nice. From Emanelia, right? Rather fetching, even if she is high-strung. Thank you, my new friend. True love denied? How interesting. How cruel. Barely move. Never get out of here. Not sure I want to. It's got to be colder out there than it is in here. Please, build us a fire. Warm us up and we can go. I brought a few things in with me. Oil, some flint and tinder. And I think I saw a pile of straw somewhere while I was wandering around. Just hurry. sits on Razor's edge. Nulatel, the Queen's Herald, the most knowledgeable man in the knowing secrets is like slowly freezing to death. Painful, numbing. Nulatel announced my expulsion from the Queen. Amazing, isn't it? The Queen chose a herald who can barely stand speaking. So much warmer out here. The cold in there, terrible. Yes, yes I am, thank you. I just couldn't take that first step. I felt safer freezing to death than I did trying to leave the cave. Damned but the mind is a strange thing. Your kindness shall be remembered. Until we speak again. He fears others, yet you force him from seclusion. How kind.
You've done it. The rest of the lady's entourage has gone on ahead. Did you deal with the madman? Sanesomo? Now that name I remember. Used to be a member of the Queen's inner circle. You have my deepest gratitude for your service today. I'll be sure the Queen learns of your bravery. I'm sure Irene herself would thank you were she here. As I said, he used to be a member of the Queen's inner circle. He knew Marian, Minantil, and the rest very well, until he was expelled. I'm trying to remember. This was a bit ago, around the signing of the Aldmeri Dominion Charter. If I recall correctly, his wife left him. There was an investigation, something about the experiments he was conducting. Yes, you've got it. That was it. He was casting spells to manipulate emotions in others. That kind of control over another person's mind. It was driving him insane, I think. Yeah, glad you took care of that one. Hmm? Who are you? Wait. Not important. You're new, and not a statue. I can use that. Ah, yes, uh, I did it. I turned them to stone, but for a good reason. It was the only way to protect them from the savage beasts. The animals here are normally very tame. Energies in the wood. Now they're vile and bloodthirsty. I believe they've been possessed by Daedra. I lost some of my apprentices to the beasts, so when I made it back to town, I cast a spell that would protect everyone. It was the only way. As long as those creatures prowl the woods, we're in danger. I believe the monoliths in the woods have something to do with the Daedric influence. Dispel their energies. Hopefully that will free the animals. When the Daedric influence is gone, it should be safe to restore the village. My poor neighbors. I don't know. I don't know. The beasts are insidious, and we Altmer never bargain with Daedra. To even consider summoning one of those monsters, it'd be inviting a death sentence. The Atronachs, at least. They're more constructs than... No, a death sentence. They're ancient. I've studied them for years in my spare time. Not even really sure who put them up. But I'm certain they're why the local creatures are normally so docile. Ah, yes. I theorize that wherever the Daedra came from, they're somehow polluting the energy of these monoliths. Dispel that energy and, I hope, the Daedra will become powerless. I sense the field disperse. I would speak with you. The energy subsides, but the animals are still savage monsters. We'll have to try something else. We need a bear. I've spent some time studying these monoliths. I've managed to create a little magical fob that imitates their energy. Essentially, it will make one of the Ursines your furry friend. For a time. I need to... we need to extract the Daedric energy from these beasts. To do that, we'll need a test subject. You'll have to rough the furry fellow up a bit first, weaken him for the spell to work. Meet me at my tower with your friend. Just follow the road through the grove. Ah, good. Now let's see if I can banish the Daedric influence from this creature. This will not do. Something here is very wrong. A flame, Atronach. My spell should have sent it screaming back to oblivion. But something else interfered. There's a powerful Daedra nearby. I know it now. You have to kill it. 
A moment. I can feel something. There's a cave north of here. Whatever this monster is, dispatch it, and we can return the grove to peace. Stay back. This cave is filled with Daedra. Merormo leaves me here to die, and he doesn't even mention me? Stars take him. I'll kill that traitor twice. This debacle is all Merormo's fault. These beasts, controlled by Daedra? All his idea. He was trying to create animal soldiers. Feigned shock troops with the ability to reason. No, it hasn't. Look, whatever's actually controlling these things, I think it's at the bottom of the cave. I'm... very woozy. Blood loss. I'll stay here. Try to stay conscious. I heard. I heard the battle. Impressive. I assume you won. Stars, yes. Let's get that bastard. Moromo needs to pay for what he's done here. Damn it, Moromo! You coward! Statues? Restore them now! I... I'll, uh... uh of course. Good. Now to make sure you don't teleport away. Listen, you can't tell the Cannon Reeve. She'll kill me. I'm not. I'm not joking. She'll have me put to a blade. My nephew, Yander, went off to join the fighting and... Damn it, I just wanted to stop spending our blood. My sister will never be the same. It's not just the Daedra. It's the monoliths. I've studied them for years, worked out how the magics pacify the beasts. But that's all the magic does. It turns beasts into mewling pets, not combat troops. Yes, the flame atronachs are essentially just raw Daedric energy given form. I summon some, hold them down, and pour them into the monoliths. That creature in the cave was not in the plan. What? What just happened? He did what? Why would he do that? Hmm, mages. Fine, fine. Thank you for speaking with me. Thank you. I heard what you said, and thank you. I never meant for anyone to get hurt, and the lesson here is clear. Daedra are never the answer. I'll never attempt this kind of ritual again. You probably hear this kind of thing all the time, but... Again, thank you, Traveler. How am I going to make back that coin? Hey there, friend. You looking to run a frog? Hmm. Maybe you can help me out. If you can get a frog, I can let you in on a secret that will guarantee a win. I bet on your racer, and we split the coin. Talk to her dross, or Sylvanir. They've both got runners. Otherwise, you could talk to one of the foreigners. Who knows what they have? I've got this, uh, frog chow here. It'll get your critter out in the front for sure. Just have to be careful. Feed it too much and it'll get slow. Don't feed it enough and it won't come in first. Bugs and, uh, some alchemical reagents. Don't worry, the little hopper will be fine. I may be a little desperate, but I wouldn't hurt a frog. I'm in a little bit of trouble. And Malian over there has banned me from running any more races. Only way I'm gonna get out of debt is to bet on someone else's frog. A job? Ha! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. A job? It's taken me some time to get my special chow right. I lost some races even though I had some sure bets, and now I'm in a little bit of debt. Uh, can I help you? Very busy here. Oh, Hopper. No, no. I'm the only one that can race Hopper. He's my little amphibian baby. 
Fine, fine. Just take care of him. I'll pick him up out of the lane after the race. Step up, step up. The dockside frog races are about to begin. And go! You did it! Your little racer won the show. Oh, you did. And as promised, here's your share of the winnings. Finally, things are looking up for Ferturil. Oh, fair day. Fair day to you. You're here with supplies for Tellinger, I expect. Please don't tell him I was sitting down on the job. Stars, yes. The dig site leader. Look, he's just up the path. Just keep your mouth shut about me. Ah, at last. You must be here with my supplies. Just put the ink and delicate items in the tent here. You can begin unloading the bulk goods with my assistance. Truly? This is the last time I trust an order to that Bosma. It fits, though. His doing has been one disaster after another. First the spirits, now the supplies. And to top it off, my top scholar and her team are missing. Stars, yes. Undewan and her team are somewhere in the ruins looking for the Malari Mora. They're long overdue. If you're not here with supplies, perhaps you'd go look for them. Best case scenario, they found the Mora. I don't want to think about the worst case. Too many variables. What a curious question. But if you insist, I am Talinger the Artificer, a renowned genius, author, and explorer. As doing is my latest endeavor. I will bring further glory and honor to the Mages Guild. I've come in search of the Molori Mora. I'll present it to the Council and reap the rewards. Quite attentive, yes. The Malari Mora is an ancient relic, a talisman. Its power took the lives of everyone here, cursed their immortal souls. No, actually. They weren't here when we arrived. Though it's merely conjecture, I believe someone has rediscovered the Mora. The disturbance of the talisman has caused the bound dead to stir. She used to be one of my prized students, very accomplished. She's now a high-ranking member of the Major's Guild, the Master of Incunabula. She oversees the Arcaneum in Skywatch. Assisting me, of course. Ondewan is a true seeker of knowledge. She may care for her books, but research in the field is her first love. In Canabula, she oversees research and training, a coveted position, one that most of my students aspire to, but few will obtain. Yes, now that you mention it, Sir Inque, one of my students, said something about freeing the spirits. She's nowhere near as analytical as Andewen. I think she's down at our forward camp. I'm sure she's fine. The magical lattice can be disrupted, but the underlying problem remains. Fair day. How goes the translations? Wait, you're not one of Tellinger's students. A fair day indeed. I'm studying the spirits that now haunt these ruins. I believe they can be released, sent on to their final reward. Perhaps you'd be willing to help with an experiment. Take this crystal. I've etched a series of micro runes onto its surface. Weaken the spirit's hold on the physical world, and then focus your will. That should sever the spirit's hold on Nern. Allow it to pass into Aetherius. My talents do not lie in the brute application of spell power. Otherwise, I would be at your side. 
Field experimentation is fascinating. Much of magic is in the detail. These spirits should not be here. Their presence is inherently fragile. With manipulations of the magicka field around you, your will can carry the punch of a warhammer. What is it? You're not dead. That makes you my new friend. Thank the stars for that old man. Canny is hurt, and some of my team members have been taken. We need to get her back to camp. Now that you're here, we can make a break for it. Some of the spirits appeared, grabbed my researchers, and then vanished. We need to get into the Undercroft. It's the only place I can think they'd be. Perhaps we were out there looking for runes. Combined, these runes form a key. We only need two more. Take a look, and I'll meet you at the entrance of Esduin's Undercroft. You've lived in my house. I'm free to seek my rest. Curse! It's gone! I owe you my freedom! Traveler, thank you! I must speak with you. Meet me at the vault entrance on the ruin's edge. I made a bet with Huntherin on the way back to camp. Did you find the runes? I made a bet with Hunther that Myr owes me five gold. You've done well. Just a moment, and I'll assemble the key. I hope so. If they're not, not worth thinking about right now. This will be quick. There. It's done. Let's go. Now to find the others. Meldil! Thank Ariel he's still alive. Meldil, have you seen the others? I tried to stop him. I couldn't... I couldn't help them. Urikanta, he's here. He's trapped the others. He's using their souls to form the gate. You have to stop him. The gate opens onto a shard of Aetherius. Without the soul-binding rituals, the gate will close. Take my amulet. It should let you see, touch Aetherius. You'll have to make a decision. Break the bindings, or kill the students. Just beware the thirsters. The overlay with Aetherius has allowed powerful spirits into the Undercroft. They're what brought us down here in the first place. Be careful. If one gets a hold of you, you could get pulled in yourself. I'm going to tend to Meldil. We'll move to the room just behind me. We should be safer in there. Of course, but speak quickly. It's a name we're all trying to forget. Urikanta is very close. Was very close to me. Tellinger cast him out of the guild, and forbade him to use magic again. He couldn't understand that power has to have limits. That some costs are too high. You can see here what he's willing to do for a taste of power. How long do you have? I'm sorry, this is just not the place for a protracted metaphysical conversation. It may be enough to say that Aetherius is the spirit realm, the land of the dead. I can't begin to guess, not without more information, but the use of the Malari Mora 
It may have twisted, broken off a part of the spirit world. If a mage were to gain access to such a place, the power, that sounds like your Ikantar. Help me. Oh, please, help me. By the light of Auriel, you've returned. You are a capable sort. Stars guard your steps. I'm going to get us out of here. Put a stop to this madness. Find Urikantar and end him. Ah, Tellinger's latest pawn approaches. Hold a moment before we continue the game. The old Mur and I have played the game for some time now. So sad to see another soul caught between us. Of course you have. He can't possibly let me go. Can't possibly let me succeed. It no longer matters. After you're dead and gone, I'll find new vessels. Draw forth the power I need from them. And I hadn't planned to be here. I planned to take over from the old Mur and perform the life binding with Aunt Derwin. Instead, look at me. This is my last chance for a legacy, to own and control a shard of the Arthur. I wouldn't have it any other way. Come, let's see which of us lives to tell this tale. I found the Malari Mora. The secrets of Atherius will be mine. I must speak with you. Meet me at the vault entrance on the ruin's edge. I felt the cursed drawn back to these ruins, just as I felt your touch release them back to Aetherius. I am Quaronadil, once a member of the proud Dua family, now lashed to the face of Nern by shame. I had the misfortune to call Asanyon Dua my brother. My brother's story is a sad one. Suffice it to say, he is responsible for the trapped souls you see in these ruins. His zealotry doomed these souls to eternal torment. Esduin was home to many powerful mages when I walked beneath the sky. Within this vault lies a magical lattice very similar in function to the crystal you now hold only much, much more powerful. Just so. There is one obstacle to overcome. A puzzle that defends the ancient mage's spell work. Thirteen tiles surround a chest within. The correct four must be activated to access the lattice. Knowing the mage, I only have my best guess. The tiles represent the great constellations. He held the Guardian constellations in high regard. The Mage, the Thief, and the Warrior. Good luck, Traveler. The Lattice may be the last hope for the Fallen. The shame Asanyan brought to my line grounds me to learn. I have hoped for centuries to somehow undo his folly. No. 
I saw the growing madness within my brother and had to act. I spoke with the guard of Skywatch, but not in time to save the targets of his zealotry. And not in time to stop the slaughter of every soul in Esduin. You don't understand. I stood beside my brother for months as the cult grew here. I could have ended his madness at any time. Instead, like a coward, I stayed my hand. Behold the cost. You've returned, and with the spell lattice? He came to me and spoke to me about my crystal. When he told me you were retrieving the lattice, I found my courage and followed Quaron out here. You still have the micro-etched crystal I gave you? This lattice is an elegant extension of the principles the crystal uses. By enmeshing it within the lattice, it will amplify the power of the crystal. It will free these spirits of the Malari Mora's curse. Wish me luck. Look, it's working! Almost there. You did it! I can feel it! Incredible! Did you see that? Unfortunate that the crystal lattice was destroyed in the process, but it served its purpose well. Yes, can't you feel it? The spirits still remain, but in time they will learn they are free to move on. While many of the spirits linger, they will slowly dissipate. It will take a while for the reality to sink in. You return. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what news? Remarkable. I'm not easily impressed, but you've done it. And your Ikantar disappoints to the bitter end. Such a waste. All that remains is to tend to the wounded and continue the research. With the Mora in hand and Urikantar dead, as Duin will soon be at peace. I'll see to it. Oh, Paylith, my daughter. Where are you? Please. You have to help me. They've got my daughter, my Paylith. The Veiled Heritance. I tracked her here, managed to take out this sentry before he could raise the alarm. But damn it! I'm an old man now. My sword arm is useless. Oriel protect you. Before he died, this bastard told me she's held in some ruins. Take this note, and this elixir of invisibility. The note holds everything I learned from this scum. The elixir is for Paylith. Find her, as quick as you can. A member of the first Oridon Marines. I serve under Battle Reeve Ulselmo. I'm currently on leave. My wife passed just recently. A heritance again. I was assigned to Queen Iren's detail, so my wife went to stay with her sister in Silsalen. The city was sacked, and they were both murdered by these bastards. I've lost enough to the Veiled Heritance. I won't lose my daughter. Please, you have to find her. How would Paylith get out then? I'm a better alchemist than a fighter, as you can see here. Least I know how to make a man talk. You're an unexpected bend in the river. Not Veiled Heritance, yes. And obviously not Pat. Perhaps we may be of service to one another. Argonians as a people are, yes, but these troops are no friends of mine. I want to teach these pigs a lesson. I help you, you help me. This crystal, take it. The Pact has unloaded arcane cargo all around the cove. Simply touch the crystal to the cargo. The result should be... impressive. Careful, the crystal has a bite. Not always so friendly when unattuned. Yes, the crystal may backfire if not properly attuned. I can't. My magicka is bound. 
I could try, but if I exceed the power the stone allows me, pain, excruciating pain. Good luck. My people allied with the Dark Elves. Our slave masters are now our friends, and yet nothing has changed. I'm still treated like a slave. I should be free to flow as the river's course demands. My magicka is bound. My superior, he holds a gem that constrains my power. You destroy their supplies, yes. I gain my freedom. Yes, the crystal may backfire if not properly attuned. Good work, the crystal. Excellent. So now you see, this gem dampens my magicka. The crystal I gave you, along with a bit of spell work, should set me free. I will start the spell. Once I have the crystal weakened, I will tell you to use the crystal I gave you. Using it will be the final boost I need. Then, I shall be free. Ready? This should work. Now, use the crystal on the stone. Well done. Leave these pigs to your slaughter. May they rot. Thank you for your help. Shadow Fen awaits. Get out of here. I won't say another word, so you'd just be wasting your breath. My father. Thank the stars. I'm tired of being a bargaining chip. They captured me to manipulate my brother, Aronimo. They had him do a job and then shoved him into a room in the ruins to the north. Bastards. That's my father. Always thinking. But I can't. I can't leave without Aronimo. Thank you, and good luck! Ah, good. I'm famished. Let's see. I'd like a breast of pheasant, some wine, and a wheel of cheese. Ugh, my sister. It's her fault we're in this mess. The Heritants just wanted some information. No problem. But they insisted on taking Paylith as insurance to make sure I'd behave. Oh, hush. I didn't know they were in league with the Pact. And now you're here meddling, too. Fine. My escape won't be enough. I gave them some detailed military intelligence. Will you help me retrieve it? Do you want that information in the hands of the Pact? No, I didn't think so. I managed to hide one of their uniforms in my cot. Grab it, then we can slip past the soldiers and retrieve the information. Simple. Meet you outside, then. None of these soldiers should recognize. If we see the Centurion, he's another story. Come. We have much to discuss. That was Iran, with the leader of the Pact Force, Rella. Your men aren't as good as you think, Iran. Move now! Let's get out of here. I need a moment. Hold on. Will you speak with me? Now we can go find my sister. Ah, no. She still worships me. 
appreciates me, not like my old man. If father were here, he'd lash my hide. Father? Here? Oh, so he's waiting outside the cave then. Right, right, on the road. Um, would you mind if I hang back a few after we get out of here? You should go ahead. Tell him how helpful I was before I walk up. You're back. You made it. Thank the eight. My daughter is found, and my no good son as well, from what I hear. What? He? My son is a traitor? He gave deployment plans to the Heritants and the Pact? Did he tell you my wife, his mother, was murdered by the Veiled Heritants? That he's put all of Oridon in danger? More wives and mothers and daughters? Just so he can feel important? Like a big man? Look, father. It's Aronimo. You! I told you I'd kill you if I ever saw your face again. No, father. Don't get upset. Please, I, I never meant to hurt anyone. You deserve no forgiveness. Lorcan, take you. Father, no! Please, do something. Please. You must do something. Father will listen to you. This is now official First Oridon Marine business. Your help is no longer required. I have to. This is justice. He's a traitor to the Crown, to his family. He's a traitor to the Crown. He's committed treason, murder and theft. How do I justify that? Even as his father. It's my duty. No. I have to. I must. My son. My own son. How can I kill my own flesh and blood? Eronimo. What you've done is unforgivable. Fine. Your life is yours. My last act as your father is to spare you. Now leave. Flee, Oridon, and never come back. If I ever see you again, your life is forfeit. Yes, father. I understand. I... Not another word. Go! Oronimo! Oh, that man is no longer your brother. Let him go! Thank you. Thank you for sparing my brother's life. Could it be I made the wrong choice? A hundred years with the Marines and never before have I failed in my duty. Until today. I know myself though. I would have come to regret killing Aronimo. Thank you. I have to go. If I'm late again, Malingwe threatened to throw me into the cave. I'll talk to you later, Baham. Nothing's worth this nonsense. Stop the Thalmor and the Dominion and... Consider yourself most welcome at the College of Old Mary Propriety. The Thalmor founded the place to teach us lesser members of the Dominion what we need to join the Guard. Oh. Fancy. Look, don't believe me? Go talk to Tanyan the headmaster. Ask that smug son of a bitch what this place is really like. Maybe someone with the Queen's ear can get a real look at this hole. Anyone willing to hear us out is blessed by the green in my book. Ask away. The High Elves insisted. They felt <clears throat> that without the proper training, our new allies would be unable to represent the Thalmor agenda. The instructors spout nonsense about civilized behavior whenever we ask that kind of thing. Meanwhile, they try to break us out of our racial customs and culture. It's like being short or having a tail is an affront to the Dominion. I'll tell you a little story. Friend of mine, Brinthia. A few weeks ago, it was his birthday. Back in Grotwood, he and his parents used to do this little ceremony honoring the green. Simple thing, just a few words. 
D'Artagnan found him praying, shouted at him, and threw him in the cave. Something about making him an example to his mongrel race. These are the people teaching us here, damn it. Salt Spray Cave. Pretty little hole in the ground behind the college. They use it as a corrective measure when we step out of line. The Thalmor's the ruling party in the Dominion. It's made up of High Elf Canyon Reeves, Wood Elf Tree Thanes, and a handful of Khajiiti chieftains. Take a wild guess what's the strongest flavor in that particular stew pot. Do I look like a tree thane? Maybe they don't know what goes on here, I don't know. Get out of my sight. I'm not afraid of your idle threats. Just so you know, Zaban is never idle. Good day. Sorry, but we're not hiring any more instructors at the moment. Oh, truly? Uh, consider yourself most welcome, then. Apologies for my brusque greeting. It's been a trying few days. Nonsense. Are we strict? Yes. Do we make our students work hard? Yes. Combat tactics etiquette. To join the Thalmor, there's a great deal to learn. This is not a cafe in Skywatch. This is war. The Pact, the Covenant, they look upon Oridon as a succulent fruit ripe for harvest. We must prepare our students for the trials they'll face in the field. Fine. We have nothing to hide here. Visit the classroom, spar with our instructors. You'll see our lessons are tough, but fair. Repeat the pledge again, class. We swear fealty to the Dominion. We renounce the Green Pact. I can't hear you. Louder! We protect the Dominion from her enemies. We give our lives in her defense. And we recognize the Ultima as our betters. Are you going to cry? I wish you would. You're pathetic. This is so humiliating. Shh, keep your voice down. It's part of our indoctrination. We have to denounce the Green Pact every day. Commit ourselves to the Dominion. The instructors keep saying there is nothing but the Dominion. We're supposed to give up our old lives and become one under the Thalmor. Now leave me be, you'll get me in trouble. This one did as you asked. Please. Talking back, maybe you need more time in the cave. Ah, oh, we have company. We'll continue this later. Ilara can't go to the cave. Not again. Salt Spray Cave. It's just north of campus towards the beach. They throw us in to correct our behavior. Cruelty for the sake of cruelty, this one thinks. We don't get enough food. They mock us, beat us. We're supposed to be training for the Thalmor, but they treat us like slaves. Take care of it before he causes a problem. I will not be threatened by a damn cat. I didn't know Tanyon was bringing in any fresh meat today. Fine then, on your guard. Let's do this. Watch and learn, maggot. You win. I yield. Well fought for a maggot. So, did you finish your tour of our little school? What did you think? Thank you. You have a keen eye for equality, especially rough, with the chattel we have for students here. Nothing comes to mind, just the student dorms, and I'd prefer you let the trainees study in peace. Thank you for your interest in the college. I'm afraid I must be going now. Done looking around? Wanna see what things are really like? You've heard Tanyan's lies, fancy agent. You've seen what they teach us. 
Now you need to see what happens after we leave those torture pits. I've just come from buying bandages and ointments from the Bandari. Those Khajiit are the only friends we have around here. You didn't see the beatings? The mistreatment? You think they smack us around like that, then hand us a bandage? They're not real careful about lunch and dinner, either. I want you to see these people, like they truly are. Norad, another student, took the supplies back to his dorm. Go talk to him. Get the supplies, then bring them to Brinthir and Thalarel. They got it bad today. Need to go talk to Ilara. She had it bad today, too. The scars don't show on the outside, though. Get going. No. Nurad is... This one does not know where these supplies came from. Do not hurt Nurad! This one... This one does not believe you. You are a spy for Tanyan, yes? No. No, you are right. Nurad knows all the instructors. Have you come for food or medicine? The supplies from the Bendari, yes. Falorel and Brinthir are in the other dorms, recovering. Today was a bad one, for all of us. Lara, you're going to the cave. Again? Why? She didn't do anything. Don't put Ilara in there. Special order from Tanyan. Maybe this'll keep your shorty friend from getting out of line. A harm might make it out of here. You're just dead weight, Cat. Thank you. That last beating, so harsh. Bastards! Two pale knife-eared bastards! I told you, I went to talk to Ilara, I stepped away for five minutes, and Tanyan's trained dog, Marlon, where jumped her. She's taking Illy to the cave. She can't survive another night in salt spray, not in the state she's in. I'll muster the students. We'll storm the caves. All we need are blades. Zabal the Bandari that gave me the bandages. He'll trade with us. No, the instructors take back our training blades after class. Will you go talk to him? I'll grab some of the others and meet you at the Bandari camp. Saban, what happened here, dammit? The whole time. I thought he turned our pain into money. He was trying to help us. This is it. Look, I... We're afraid of the cave. Salt spray. Too many memories. Go look for Ilara. She needs to get pulled out of there. We'll grab weapons from the camp here, then go deal with our teachers. Why did you throw her in here? She did nothing wrong. You don't belong here. None of you belong here. You will never leave here alive. You'll never wake us. She just wants to get out of here. They were going to kill Ilara. Just for being what she is. How? How can I be anything other than Khajiit? Yes, yes. Thank you. This one is sure Baham is worried. I don't have words. Thank you so much for finding Ilara. What news of Tanyan? Then, it's done. We've taken the school. We'll restart. We study to actually join the Thalmor, to put Bosmer and Khajiit in positions of power. Thank you, my friend. 
The Alliance is stronger for your courage. Ariel, keep and sustain me. Give me strength in this dark time. Thank the Eight. Please, you have to help us. We can't keep them contained much longer. You have come to Torinon at a dark time, Pilgrim. Normally, these ruins are a beacon of light to the faithful. Now it's all we can do to hold the corruption at bay. Please, seek out our leader, our old Ark. She can tell you what must be done. Don't hurt me, please, don't hurt me. Please, Master. Mercy on this poor wretch. I'm the relic keeper here at Turinon. You must help me move the holy treasures, lest they be co-opted by the corruption that plagues this site. Ancient guardians guard the relics, but they've already been touched by the Daedric stain. Please, Master, get them clear. Look for the coffers on altars around the Turinon. Just mind the guardians now. Be wary, traveler. This corruption could take you too. These relics are my life, Traveler. If they become corrupted and stained, my life will be over. I wish I could take this fancy spell with me. I go get them myself. No, that was the old Ark's doing. She didn't want me to die or become co-opted like the others. Such a kind lady. Um, if a little brusque with me. Do you have them? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll just... I'll just gather my wits and then pack these out of here. Blessings of the Divines be upon you. Stars above, it's good. One of my acolytes send you along? She spoke truly. Turinon has been assaulted by Daedric energies and foul beasts. The penitent writhe with foul magics while scamps and clan fear rampage through her fields. You are very brave to offer your service. The shrines to the Eight Divines fuel this evil. I can feel it. Cleanse the shrines and you should be able to strike at the source of the corruption. I can feel Mara's smile on my face for the first time in hours. Good luck. I'm not entirely sure. We received a retinue of penitents led by none other than High Kind Lady Estri herself. I was walking between the shrines, talking to monastic Neneron, when the screaming began. She what? No doubt she's behind this then. Some kind of ploy or distraction. Mara's heart that we could live to see such times. I tried to help those I could, but the penitents went mad with fear. Daedra boiled up from the central shrine, burning and killing as they went. The prince behind this is a fiend. I am an old dark, and an old one at that. I may not be much good in a fight, but the touch of a Daedric Lord? Pah. No part of my soul wants to traffic with the likes of them. I'm ashamed to say I left Neneron inside. I dropped a quick rune of protection on the ground for him. Mara knows if he's still alive. I tried to get him moving, but he kept raving about some relics. Silly, stupid mer. I'm certain solutions will present themselves. There's no telling what this corruption has done to the holy sites. The Divines will want you to re-sanctify their spaces, certainly. They're watching, always. Danger still looms at this site. Dispatch the interlopers.
here, my friend. Hail, my new friend. The touch of the divine inspired me, told me you'd succeeded in your task. Is it true? Five-fold venerations be upon you. I knew, I knew the moment we met that you were sent by the divines. And truly, the divines have more to say to you. Follow me, my young friend, and find out. Lord Dagon, my family has been ever faithful. Now, in my hour of need, I request your aid. Your plots exposed. Your supporters crushed. And you come crawling to your lord. What do you have left to offer me? Everything. I offer my very soul if it means I have power. The power to rule. So be it. I imbue you with a taste of my true power. Call up the shrines in Turinan. Then, move on to First Hold. Estri, the High Kin Lady herself. I can't believe it, though I've seen it now with my own eyes. I return to my work. The corruption fades and the penitents will need guidance now more than ever. You, gods touched. You must seek and stop the blasphemer. Her profanity must be ended. Over here. Soldier, we're here. Soldier, we... Wait. You're no scout? Identify yourself. The eyes of the queen. Well enough, then. Maoma raiders hit the cove. I've called for reinforcements, but if they don't show soon... Perhaps there's an ancient device on the eastern cliffs. Old Mary Harbor defense. Should have stopped this bunch before they've started. Not sure why it didn't. If you can get it working again, we'll have a much easier time of it. Start by looking for my runner, Laura Mal. She might have learned something. We'll be right behind you, soon as more blades show up. Good luck. Go. Have to keep my eyes open. Damned vipers came out of nowhere. The town was completely unprepared for the attack. We were doing a training exercise nearby, and a guardsman ran to grab us. Tried to hold them at the docks, but... Well, you can see that didn't work out. Not really sure, but I know what it does. Burns up ships that pull into the harbor. It's usually inactive, for obvious reasons. But the Cannon Reef should have been able to power it up long before the Maoma pulled into port. Ah! You're the one who destroyed the lighthouse at South Beacon. You saved my sister's life. Mara's heart. It's good to meet you. The captain sent you? Thank Mara. They chased me. I was prowling around the Cannon Reeves place, trying to figure... <coughs> trying to figure out how to turn on that old device. You need a set of stones. Old Mary Power Stones. I found this scrap of paper. It says there's one in the tavern, another in this old mage's house. They're both on the other side of town. The third one, the Maomus captain, has the last one. It was in the Cannon Reeves manse. You do that. I'm just gonna sit here and rest. Try not to get myself stabbed anymore today. Another Dominion Howl, sniffing around where they're not wanted.
Mara's heart, you've done good work here. Little wonder Razumdar trusts you. Who knows how long it will take the town to rebuild. But with the Marines at our backs, we cut them to ribbons. We've won the day. Thank you. You've the thanks of a grateful captain. Thank Oriel, a friendly face. You're Raz's cohort, aren't you? I know you by reputation. Look, I'm supposed to be acting as troop support out here, but an elite ranger in the Lion Guard is stalking our people. I need backup. Will you help me? Get the wounded off the field. East of here is a supplies hut with some Covenant uniforms. If you can, pass out those uniforms and the troops can use them to escape. They're stocking something in the hut off to the west. Might be worth checking out. I and a few other eyes were assigned to an expedition up north. We smuggled a pair of defectors out of Covenant lands, but the thrice damned daggers followed us. Now we're just trying to keep the body count to a minimum. The daggers! They're here! They followed us home! Aurel, forgive us. We rendezvoused with a Covenant officer and her husband. She wanted to defect. The damned daggers caught wind of it and chased us all the way from Kefram. She's on a ship, down in the cove. You have to find her before they execute her. When you've got her, get her up to the lighthouse. That's where you'll find the remainder of my squad. Hurry, Trevor. My comrades at the lighthouse, they can't hold out forever. And who knows when the daggers will decide to off the orc. She's thrice blessed she is. Lakazgra Groramat commanded a unit in Glenumbra. Saw the hypocrisy of the daggers firsthand. She and her husband managed to flee to the wilds of Kefram. Got us word through a Bendari peddler. Think so. As far as you can trust any orc. She's loyal enough. Refused to leave her husband behind. No negotiation on that point. Don't recognize my insignia, do you? We're with the Talons. The Queen has her eyes, yes? The Battle Reeve has his Talons. We work with some of the other covert units. Provide strong arms where they're needed. You've got it. Breath of Oriel a few times we were their only protection. Don't know if any of the eyes are still up there with my squad. Hope so. They're brave. When they're not hiding under a bush. Our Farnell must have sent you. The Queen's eyes see all, eh? Breen bless you then. I have everything I need from this hut. Was just about to take my leave. Would you do me a favor and clean up? I want to make my report. Take these fire salts. The empty crates over there are the perfect kindling. Head to the camp on the bluff when you're done here. I'm sure our Fana would wish to thank you. Managed to bag my ranger. And Kariel here has been telling me about your exploits. Excellent work. Being in the eyes isn't always about high-profile hijinks, eh? Still, I think you'll agree. Even support can be rewarding. Thank you, my new friend. Well, if you're here to end me, do it and be done. Tired of waiting. It's about time, Steel and Stone. You've got to get me out of here. I've got to reach my Marath. He's there, trapped with the rest of the Talon troops. Has to be. Look, I'm not the one the Daggers are after. They're after my Marath. I'm just a line officer. Not worth a chase across the ocean. Marath Mash, my husband, is who they're after. Marath was an advisor to King Kura, Gro, or Sinium. He wanted out. A real life. They'll have set up to bombard the lighthouse. Standard tactics. So we take out the artillery first. Bernardine is here. I can smell him. Let's do this. The traitor shows her true colors. Principles transcend loyalty. Let that be my final lesson. Walk with 
you, Mala, he bastard. You're safe. Are you hurt? I'm fine. You have a soul of steel, my love. May he always keep us together. First Forge! We made it! And you, my new friend. Without you, Maroth would have been dragged back to Arsinium in chains. Walk with Moloch, and may your kills be swift. My beach! Mine! Get out of here! Bet you're with those two crazy people. It's not yours, it's mine! Raggedy Alanwe and her impudent son, Sarandil. Crazy. Said they were related to Relis. Ha! Who would claim that? Up by the bridge! Didn't want to risk the skeletons. Bet you can catch her if we get off. My beach! That silly, stupid boy. He's going to get himself killed in there. How... how did you know? Sorendil is Scion of the last High Kinsman, Rillis the Twelfth. I... I was Rillis's mistress. And now my son risks his life for some fool treasure. He wants to prove himself to his ancestors. He thinks there's some sort of treasure deep in the vaults. Saw wants so badly to be a Rillis. I just want him to be safe. Please, will you look after him? We don't know each other, stranger. But you have a mother's gratitude for your kindness. The High Family of First Hold. House Rillis has ruled this part of Auradon for centuries. In the past, it was known as a proud line of warriors. Until the last Rillis, that is. Rillis the Twelfth. They called him a despot, a murderer. He communed with Daedra, committed horrible acts in the depths of his palace. For his crimes, he's trapped here, in the banished cells beneath the castle. Ha! Huh. To hear him tell it, it was all his idea. Vanus Galarian, first mage of First Hold, was the real founder of the guild. Rillis just allowed him to do his work in the city. I heard rumors he even bargained with Galarian for access to Oblivion. I was. I think I loved him. But the tales of Daedric power he was given, even the power to control the minds of Myrrh. What if I never... what if I never really loved him? As heir to the name Relis, I command the vaults be open. Sarandil, leave this place, bastard, or face the wrath of my loyal guards. Oh, I'm your son. Don't turn me away. It's mine by right. Banished to oblivion and the man still won't acknowledge me. Who are you? Damn it. She doesn't think I can handle myself. I'm a Relis. The blood of Oridon's greatest warriors flows in my veins. The Relis Helm. It imbues the wearer with the strength of a mighty warrior. It's the birthright of my family. Been in the Relis line for generations. All the way back to Relis the First. No, I mean... You can't. It's, it's in the vault below us. The vault is shut fast by a trio of wards. Each ward is guarded by one of Relis's loyal captains, and only I know how to lower the wards. Fine, fine. I'll even pay you for your time. Just remember, the helm will only work for a scion of House Relis. It's no use to the likes of you. Let's go. Sarandia, I'll spill your blood.
Now I do my part. Trespassers will be pursued, beaten, and sent to oblivion. going down. That's the last of them. Let's get back to the vault entrance. Happening? What did you do? Don't worry, Mother. It's safe now. Trust me. The vault is open. Are you ready? Mother will stay here while we're down in the vault. We will fulfill my destiny. I'll only be down there for a moment, and when I emerge with the helm, I'll be a powerful, relis warrior. I'll be able to keep her safe for the rest of our lives. Keep him safe down there, please. The Rillis line is strewn with hard hearts and cruel men. Protect me! I'll return the favor once I have my helm. Wretched child! Leave this place! Leave me. I am Aurelis, and I'm here for what is rightfully mine. Relis has ruled here for centuries. How has that warped, twisted our souls? Stop with your whining. It's my destiny to claim my birthright. Your quest ends here, bastard! Help! Protect me! there. You can feel the power in the air. There. The helm! And it's mine! All mine! I am! I am a release! Take it then, and see what it means to be a release. Stand back, and behold the scion of Castle Rillis. What's happening to me? Help me! Help! I am... a Rillis! We warned you! Tried to stop you! Only those with pure blood can master the helm! Welcome to the family, slave. Not a slave! I'm a Rillis! I'm one of you! I convinced my brother to wear the helm, and then led the mob who killed him. Mother wore the helm after father died. We never found her body. I wore the helm at the Battle of Ten Mars. 
I slew my son with my bare hands. Uncle hid the helm from me for years. I ripped his throat out on my birthday. The helm is our power source, and our curse. Only a true son of Relis can wear the helm. Now, be gone! The guards are quiet again. Something's happened. Where's my son? Where's Sorendil? Gone? How? What happened down there? You did what you could. I somehow knew it would end this way. Thank you for listening to a mother's plea. I'd like to be alone now. Steady, girl. We'll find a better life somewhere else. Make way, please. Winnie and I are eager to be gone. Plague. Stay away if you value your life. A dozen people afflicted over the last week. Hendil has been tending to the ill in Annanway's barn. He's just the town alchemist. No formal healer training. You want to risk your life? Be my guest. Winnie and I are bound for Skywatch. At Sav! You approved Hendil's contract yourself. Quickly! This is the loss of the self, sir. I hope it's enough. We can get more later. Hurry! Yes, just like that. Apply the salve. Please don't let me die. She's alive. That's all that matters. Take her to quarantine. Hear about the plague? It's really catching on. Sorry. Sorry, this, this is about my fourth day without sleep. Are you feeling well? Can I help you? Um, not long. My son was its first victim, bless his heart. I'm not really a healer, just the town alchemist. But I couldn't just sit by and watch people suffer. Sallow weed aloe. It seems to hold back the illness for a time. I apply it to my patients as soon as they show symptoms. If their condition worsens, though, we put them in quarantine. Actually, we just ran out of salaweed. A big patch grows just outside of town. Will you gather some? Amor's already got the next batch of salve prepped. Just need the sap to get back to work. Salaweed's pretty potent stuff. Gathering it should be safe enough. As long as you don't eat it, you'll be fine. I think. Fair used to be a mining town. The workings are still down there. After folks started to get sick, we wanted to keep the worst away from the uninfected. So we put them in quarantine down below. No, not at all. Amor and I go down regularly to care for them. We set up a contract with the mercenaries to keep everyone safe. This'll all turn out fine in the end. Ah, you're back. Good. Sorry, just trying to stay on my feet. Wonderful. I'll have Amor make up another batch of aloe straight away. I hope it wasn't any trouble for you. Oh. They did? That's unfortunate. Very... Unfortunate. Hmm? I'm sorry, my mind is drifting. Very tired. Some of the local farm workers must have been touched by the plague. I'll send Amor and some of the mercenaries to treat them. Thank you for telling me. Yes, actually. If you could pass out the aloe to some of the villagers, I'll be able to send Amor to treat those farmhands straight away. New patients popping up. Every day. Let's see. Have my list here. Nelulin, who should be out fixing the sheds about now. 
A Yerel, no doubt hiding in his home, and Arninwe. She owns this farm, probably just outside the barn here. Those are the next victims on the list. I'll make the new batch right away, sir. Make this batch extra potent, Amor. It's ready, sir. I put an extra dose in. Here you go. Hey there. I'm sick? Stars. I suppose it was only a matter of time. It is my barn, after all. Thank you. Here I thought my biggest problem was keeping the farm. Now I'm worried about catching the plague. The stars move, I suppose. What are you doing in my home? Don't you know who I am? It's about time. My family helped to found this star's forsaken town. You'd think I'd be one of the first to get treated. You've done what you came to do. Get out and don't dawdle. Bad enough I have to deal with these dirt farmers. Now I'm dealing with their diseases too? Sorry, help you? I've uh, got a lot of work to do around here. Sav? What? Uh, does that mean I've got the plague? Stars above. A mother won't be able to bear this. Hendil's done so much for this town, all I can do is trust him. Wish this wasn't happening to me, though. My mother, Velatos. She's at her home nearby, waiting for word about my brother. He's down in the cave, waiting for Hendel to come up with a cure. It'll be all right. Thank you. I suppose I should be grateful I have the salve. Hendil's son succumbed so quickly. Stars damn this plague. My brother, Ewalian, was one of the first to fall to the plague. Hendil was so kind, talking to Mother, explaining things. Ewell's been in quarantine for days now with no word. She's beside herself. Now, with me having to take the salve... Damn it. Everything's going to be fine. We're just very worried about the poor victims in the mine. Does everyone have their salve? In some cases, I'm taking a preventative stance. Hopefully that will stop the spread of the disease. The gods thank you. As do I. There's just something not right about this. Everyone in town is so grateful to Hendil, but I don't trust him, or that little toad on Moor. My youngest son's been down there for a week. Why? No, I don't. I think he's hiding something. Those mercenaries? They guard his house night and day. Please, I know you have no reason to trust me, but at least look. It's my son. I'll meet you at my home when you're done. I live just behind Hendil. And I know you must think I'm mad. But I can feel it. This is all wrong. I know, I know. I can't explain it. But the last few days it... Seems like people don't become sick until after Hendil gives them the salve. Or perhaps I'm just reading too much into this. Either way. They took him! They took Nelulin! Now both of my boys are locked away! What's he hiding? I'm not sure I understand all of this, but I was right. This plague, or whatever you want to call it, is all his fault. No idea, but it's clear. Whatever's going on has to be stopped. Please, I know you barely know me, but my sons are all I have. I don't know if I could go on, if they were to. Yes, and to do that, you'll need to get past the mercenaries. The unsmiling thugs at the door won't give me the time of day. Maybe one of the others could be convinced to help you? 
Or maybe a disguise? I don't know. Quite the busybody about town, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> it depends on what you want to know. I'll tell you. You mentioned quarantine. To say the truth, my coin purse isn't feeling all that well. <laughs> that it is. Your best bet is to grab one of our uniforms from the cabinet in the bunkhouse. Anyone up there is sure to be sacked out. Won't notice a thing. Just don't tell him I sent you. You're new, right? Go on in. Just don't let them touch you. Hurry! Amor! We've got to get back before someone notices we're gone. Someone's here. Leave him! We must find Tancano! Where am I? What happened? The quarantine? But everyone's sick down here. Am I going to die? So tired. You have to find Hendil. I don't want to die. Hold them, Amor. We can't let them get any further. They can't know the truth. Go away. I'm just trying to protect my son. Tancano, my son. He's sick. I've been trying to hide it, but everything's gone wrong. My son. He feeds off of them. Then he bends them to his will. They become his thralls. I've been bringing people down here since he first got sick. Once I find the cure, I can set everything right. I just want my son back, not this monster. Please don't hurt him. I can still make this right. I can still... Curse him! <laughs> oh, my son! I can't believe it! After, after everything I did to protect him! I don't know. They were under Tancano, the monster's control. I don't know what'll happen now that he's gone. All we can do is hope. I understand. I don't. I don't deserve freedom. Report me to Natanwi. She can take me in. I can't face all those families. Can I wait here? I won't run. I'll... Tie me up. I'll wait for her to come for me. Please, my sons. What's happened? What? He's a monster. Who could do such a thing? 
Finn. Now, Lula, did you find him? Thank the stars. Wait. What about Ewellian? He's been in there so long. No. My boy. My Ewell. Hendil. Where is he? Where is that bottle sniffer? Stop! Just walk away. I appreciate what you tried to do, but just walk away now. How can you say that? How can you say he deserves... Fine. Fine. I won't touch him. I'll let justice be done. Ah, you again. You look terrible. Something wrong? What? What do you mean behind everything? He helped. He passed out that salve to everyone and... Oh. Lich-loving blood fiend stars down that alchemist. I'll drag him to Skywatch myself, see him clamped in irons. Where is he? My men and I will go round him up. I can't believe we took a contract from a damn death lover. Thank you, Traveller. Stars guide your steps.